Hello YouTubers, Hemi Technoid here. And today we've got my Sony TCK81 out on the bench here in the living room uh, service area. And uh, what I got it out for was uh, I was curious to check its azimuth since I've been on an azimuth kick lately, uh, tape head azimuth. So uh, yeah, what I did is I stuck the azimuth tape in it and I hooked it up to the O-scope and uh, surprisingly, uh, not expected, but it was spot on already. So I didn't even have to make an adjustment. So then I decided I was going to try and record something on it on this particular tape here, this CD-110. CD-110, I don't even remember buying this tape. I might have inherited it from somebody. But uh, yeah, CD-110, and I tried to calibrate it, which this thing has some very fancy calibration settings right there. And uh, it was giving me a little bit of an issue because I had to max out the levels to get anywhere near where it needed to be calibrated. And I thought to myself, now, that shouldn't be the case. There should be a little more play in the center position. For it to calibrate so yeah I got online I went to hi-fi engines.com and I downloaded the service manual for this guy which uh, yeah this guy has a service manual it's a very precise and concise service manual um, and I just wanted to get into the area about the record level adjustments so I I found the recorded level adjustments on the board here and the right in there's one right there, there's a little hole, that right there is uh, one adjustment, and then there's another adjustment further down in there, and I didn't want to poke around and accidentally short something up, but yeah, uh, you adjust those by feeding in a signal, and then you uh, look at the, the meter levels, and you tweak it, and what I did is I tweaked it so the levels were more in a calibratable area you know where you could adjust them rather than having to be maxed out so yeah I got that all tweaked up and I got the cabinet off here and I was going to go ahead and calibrate this for you right right here on on uh, in real time so uh, yeah what you do what you do and let me set the camera on a tripod and then we'll get back to it so I've got the tape deck set up for calibration and this is the calibration knob here this tells you whether it's in calibration or not mode calibration mode and here's the bias there's the record level adjustments for left and right and you've got to have Dolby turned off so there's off and then you select which kind of tape EQ you have this is type 2 type 2 so it's on type 2 and the bias is for high so I got it set to high because this is a high bias tape. Okay, and then what you do is you put that on auto and then uh, put it into the tape is rolling. Okay, and then you set it to the bias. The first setting on the knob is bias. So you turn it to bias and what it does, it shows you a high frequency and the lower frequency and when the bias is right these two will line up okay and this is the bias knob and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak it okay and what's happening is the two levels are starting to line up okay when they line up then you've got it set right okay so they line up and now you go to record level you set to record level and that's these two adjustments here and what you want to get it to is you want to get it up here into the record cal it says right there on the level on the display record cal okay so let's get the first one up get that up to record cal and it's the first red light that comes on there it is and you want to keep it from flicking you want it to steady and then the other one, the other one is right there, okay. And the other one's still flickering a little bit, so you want to secure that up a bit. Okay. Now, yeah, see, the, the adjustments here are now just a little bit past middle point, where before 
they had to be nearly maxed out or maxed out and there was no room there was no extra room for you know adjustment they were maxed out so yeah there's a lot of room for adjustment now so those are that's good because of the adjustment I made on the, the board in the back so now let's go back to the bias check the bias again okay you see the levels are much higher now because the bias the, the record levels I took care of that so yeah we want to get these so that they're both the same Ah, oh, look at that okay yeah so both light, red lights are kind of flickering so yeah we want to have right like that but not different like that we don't want to have them too different so as a matter of fact just like that okay that is as good as it gets let's go back to record level and check it and that's spot on they're good so yeah this tape is calibrated so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cabinet back on hook up a DBX unit and we're going to look at some Lissajou pattern on the O-scope while recording some music
Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed the Lissajou patterns and the uh, demonstration of the TCK81. I know I had fun fixing it up and doing it. So, uh, until next week, see you later.